Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to cover directory permissions. So let's get started. Okay, if I ls on my desktop, you can see I've got a directory called demo. And to view the permissions on this directory, all we need to do is type in ls-ld because it's a directory and we want a long listing and then the name of the directory, which is demo. And as you can see, we get a long listing for our directory. So you can change the permissions of a directory in much the same way that you can with a normal file using chmod. So if we type in chmod and let's take away the user's write permissions, so u minus w and the name of the directory, which is demo and hit enter. And then if we ls ld for demo, you can see that the owner of the file no longer has write permissions. So if we just cd into this directory, so cd demo and ls, you can see that we can still ls and there are three files in here. So let's try and create one. So touch, let's call it file four. We no longer have permission to write to this directory. So if we just cd back up and let's just give write permissions back to the owner. So chmod user plus w demo and ls dash ld demo you can see we've now got the write permissions back for the owner of the file. So now let's see what would happen if we take away read permissions for the file. So chmod and user minus r on demo and hit enter. Now if we ls dash ld on demo, you can see that we no longer have read permissions for this directory. So let's just try and ls demo and as you can see, we can't actually see what's inside of demo. So let's try and CD into demo. So CD demo, that works. And if we LS, we can't actually see anything inside the directory, but we know that there are files in there. So CD works when we remove read permissions for the directory, but LS doesn't seem to work. So if we just CD back and let's give our owner back his read permissions. So chmod uh, u plus r and demo. And now let's take away the execute permissions. So chmod u minus x and demo. So now let's try an ls demo. So ls demo. So we're getting this permission denied and it cannot access the files that are within demo, but it's still able to list them. So let's try and do a long listing and see what happens. So ls dash l and demo. You can see that the only thing that we're getting returned is the actual names of the files, but no other information. So now let's try and cd into demo. Permission denied. So we can't actually get into demo. So you can see that with directories, read and execute permissions generally go hand in hand. So if you are going to grant someone read permissions to a directory, just make sure that you set execute permissions as well so that they can actually CD into the directory. If you remove the write permissions, they won't be able to write anything to the directory or delete anything inside of it. So let's just test that out. And um, let's just ls-ld on demo. And let's just restore the permissions. So chmod, the user we need to add back execute permissions and that should be it so demo and let's remove the write permissions so chmod user minus w demo i could have done that in one line but it's just clearer this way and so let's cd into demo and ls so let's try and remove one of these files so trash dash put file one and it's saying that it cannot trash that. So if we ls, you can see that file one is still there. So let's just try rm on that. So rm dash file one, whoops, sorry, not dash. So rm file one, and you can see permissions denied again. And if we ls, everything's fine. As I showed you before, you can't create files within a directory if you don't have write permissions. So as you can see, directory permissions are a little bit different from normal file permissions in the way that if you are going to give someone read access to a directory, you should probably give them execute permissions as well. 
so that everything functions correctly. So that's brought us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.